Oh, we on. Hey guys, what's up? Well, mm. this is Anya Zo, who is my podcast from A to Z. And I have a very special guest today, my very good friend, all the way from Finland, Ismo. Hey, thank you. It's yeah. good. I'm glad to be a very special guest. And, uh, next time you have a guest, you have to introduce, like I have a very ordinary guest. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, sometimes I really want to say it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a completely ordinary, basic guest. But it's not a bad thing. Some people want to blend in. Mm-hmm. I met some people, they're like, oh, I just want to be like part of the crowd. I'm like, why would you want to be part of the But they feel comfortable there. Yeah, the, they nails, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. That's that's a, that sounds really smart for mm-hmm. a Finnish person. <laughs> okay, well, I'm very happy to have you. And uh, I want to ask you, because you're a comic. Well, first of all, guys, he's not just a comic. He is the funniest person on planet Earth. Only Earth? <laughs> Only Earth. <laughs> I don't think they create the competition with aliens yet, but you won that competition mm. among, among humans. Yeah, it was humans on Earth. It was well, it, yeah, it's, yeah. There was a competition by the name of the funniest person in the world, and I did win it. So I have the title, but I rarely use it because it's a crazy sounding title. I think it's a great title, the funniest human. Like mm-hmm. this is a heavy title to carry. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. Yeah, I think I want to start a co- competition that's the, the funniest mammal. <laughs> mammal. <laughs> <laughs> that would be well. Who would judge them? Who my, other mammals? Yeah, maybe maybe some apes and dogs and one cat. Okay, what did you smoke today? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten. Or, well, I vaped some nicotine today. Yeah, Isma is one of those people that don't eat at all until like 8 p.m. Well, now I like it's kind of all over the place. But a couple of weeks ago, I decided that I'm trying. I'm gonna try to do one meal a day. Wow. And uh, today, I haven't eaten anything. Like a sip of bone broth and lots of coffee and. And salt. Isma eats salt, just pure salt. And yeah. this is okay. This is how he so does is, it. Uh, yeah, this is the salt from the studio. It's yeah. nice. It's actually it's pretty good. It's sea salt, I think. Mm-hmm. Salt. Are you gonna use the salt after that <laughs> after that episode or not? Just don't put it lips on. Yeah, it. I'm not <laughs> sucking it. I'm not like I'm not giving a blowjob to the, to the salt. Like, I'm well, <laughs> I'm I'm washing it really carefully. I'm making sure he doesn't touch mm-hmm. it with his lips. And some of it miso. This is not dandruff. It's salt. It looks like coke <laughs> on your chest. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of new sub- subscribers after that episode. <laughs> well, tell me how did it happen? How did you win this competition? Well, it was uh, by Love Factory, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that was 2014. 14. I, ha- I had never done a show in America. I, I, I started doing comedy in Finnish in Finland because I'm from Finland. Mm-hmm. So uh, the language is Finnish. Uh, Finnish. So I, I started... Uh, Finished 20 years ago, 21 years ago, I think. And then I did some shows in uh, in the UK, tried it out a little bit, just went there for a couple of weeks here and there, just tried to do it in English. And it was working pretty well in English, but I never really had plans to come to America or anything like that. But then there was this competition, 14, and and it was online first. And then like then it was like finals. And then they were like, hey, the final is in LA. So or, uh, the semifinals, LA, the, the final was in Vegas, actually. And so they were like, you have, you have to come. You're in top ten. And like, then I was like, okay, I have to move all my gigs and book flights. And it was pretty crazy. Like, it was pretty last minute. I had to make room for that. But I'm like, I'm not gonna miss out on this opportunity. Yeah. I'd never done a show in America, and and it went pretty well. And I won it. And then they were like, hey, you wanna move here? We'll help you out. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is how I came to Hollywood. Yeah, like but- a year later, I moved here. Then, like one year later after that. Had so to figure they, out the visas and everything. So they gave you like extraordinary ability visa? What's the name of it? Yeah. Okay. You Extremely see, he's not extra. a basic human. He's extraordinary yeah. ability human. A the funniest special. human on planet Earth. <laughs> that would be a good visa category. A very special dude. <laughs> special dude from Finland. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. I never met. I used the first. I met some athletes and actors who, d- who did like extraordinary visa, but you're the first comic. Just yeah. pretty cool. Well, congrats yeah. on that. Thanks. <laughs> but, but let me ask you, how did it happen? Like, did you translate your material from Finnish to English when you auditioned well, for this competition? Uh, well, there was um, when I first started doing some English uh, spots, I just wrote completely new jokes, and they were mostly like just wordplay, like puns and silly. Mm-hmm. Like my first years of doing comedy was mostly like kind of silly, surreal, absurd, weird jokes. Like, and give then, an example. Well. Like one of my first jokes was like just like fifteen minutes about what if you were raised what if you were, you were raised by wolves, 
because I read there's some children yeah. who are raised by wolves, wolves the, yeah. and then I was just like wondering how how are they as parents and all that stuff. Like, I, that, like it's just like your like imagination. Weird... Like you went first, there was your imagination. Yeah, so. it's like taking a weird concept and then just going with it. And then I, it was like that was one long big theme I had. And then then it was like the first first joke I ever did on stage in Finland was about drinking window washer. Because in Finland, like the hobos drink like window washer. Fluid. What is hobo? Like a hobo, like a bum. Like ah, a, like a bum. Okay. Like an uh, like, yeah. alcoholic who lives on the street. Yeah. I'm like, what is hobo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. But in Finland, we have nice words Z- for them. Like, they they drink like window washer. Window washer. This was a drink. Well, because it's like it has alcohol in it, but it's kind of poisoned mm. and it's kind of really <laughs> bad for you. And if you try it, you will vomit immediately. But they really try to get it going because it's the cheapest alcohol you okay. can get. But it's very, very, it requires lots of expertise to be able to drink it. To drink it without <laughs> vomiting. <laughs> yeah. And immunity problem, immune system. Yeah. Because it's denatural. Like it's some, it's kind of poison somehow. So I just did a long joke about that. Just like I knew that people drink that. And then I was just like, how to advertise it and all the catchphrases. And like it was just like, and I just took a weird concept. And then I just, so it was mostly about like kind of surreal thing. One of the first jokes in, English was about dolphins. I think that's on my YouTube. Like mm-hmm. a dolphins don't have hands, but they are as smart as humans, but they can't do anything because they don't have hands. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you went on and on on that? Yeah, about? that wasn't that long, but it was like, yeah, I think I, I still have like at least one version of that joke in on my YouTube or Instagram somewhere. Have you but, heard this? Like a dolphins, they rape humans? Ooh, I might have heard about it. Yeah, there are like crazy videos online that like uh, male dolphins rape women. And I love dolphins, but after I watch those YouTube videos and they fo- they penetrate a woman, okay? That's like going hard. You look so excited. Look at you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a crazy... Oh, no, dolphin, stop that. You have to stop that. Yeah, but I love dolphins. But after that, I'm like... And it was my dream to go swimming with the dolphins. <laughs> but now and it's in Hawaii, you can go and swim with like in a wild ocean. Like it's not like in a, you know, oh, a square. Like you can literally be in the ocean and swim with dolphins. And they do tours and excursions like that. But after watching these videos, I'm like, I don't think I would ever do it. Yeah, that's a good point. Because people often dream about swimming with dolphins, but nobody n- knew about all that raping going on. In yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of raping. Oh, no, that's bad. Dolphins, they, we, need, we need a Me Too movement for the dolphins. Or the dolphins, you see? Maybe you should go swimming, but wear like a chastity belt. Thank you, Isma. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you're wearing one now. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dirty Isma. Dirty Isma. Well, tell me about your Finnish jokes. Do you remember your first opening Finnish joke? Well, like when I first started. When I, you just first started. I, the first joke I ever did was about drinking window washing fluid. But how do you go on stage and you start talking about that or you had like a quick opening joke? Actually, I started with that. I remember I saw, I, I cut away, like it was a newspaper like an ad about like two bottles for the price of one window washer. And I was like, this is funny. And then I was just going on with that. And then I had another joke in that set that was about, um, they should have like offers in laws. Like when they, like you could have like, like this week you get half off like jail time for murder or something like offers what? like offers like uh, or like this oh this week it's a good week to kill because yeah. they can only spend like 10 years instead of 20 yeah i was thinking that like the police or the courts could do like offers for for in uh, finland well yeah i was thinking of finland then i guess and it was like yeah tonight drinking and driving you can you, just with a warning or something like, it's a warning like, yeah, yeah it's so a it's deal like it sounds offers, like a deal like, a yeah. Deals, like yeah. A promotional deals for laws yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was one like just some weird ideas. I that's think. funny. But how did you start doing comedy? Like, tell me first, like, how was the difference in comedy in Finland and the United States? Well, when we first started in Finland, like, well, there was a few guys who started in my hometown, mm-hmm. like two thousand one, and then I, I started two thousand two, and and it was like one thing a month, and like in the student bar, and it was great. There was like two hundred people there. It was wow. one show a month, and then we were stacking the chairs after and before the mm-hmm. show. And it was like really like just building the scene. Wow. So I only got to do one show a month for the first year. And, and it was mostly the same crowd. So I was writing new stuff every month. And how much time would you do every month? I think the first show I did was like almost 15 minutes. So every month you would have to come up with fresh new 15 minutes. Kind of, yeah. And then after like six months, then I, 
then we went to this other city. We're like, oh, we have you to go to tour. another city. Yeah, and, you went on a tour. Yeah, and then we're like, oh, let's take the train to another city. It was all exciting. Like, yeah. it's weird, like, just building a scene. And and in Helsinki, the capital, there was some shows running there. So then I did uh, I did a couple of sets there. And then they had this, like, newcomer competition, like, 2000 and... Uh, Three, yeah, that was one year after I started, and I won that actually. Wow, you just <laughs> so, win competitions. Yeah, that's so, amazing. So that was that, and then I started to do in like around Finland. Like I became kind of a pro like a year in, only after like twelve gigs. Do you understand how many comics, <laughs> how much comics gonna hate you right now? I became a pro after one year in, and I only did twelve gigs. Well, that kind of what happened, like, cause it was a, they, they started to be like a demand for comedy, and there yeah. was only like ten people doing it in Finland, or maybe twenty, like not many. So, okay. it, and I was pretty good. Like my first gig was actually good. It was crazy. Like I don't know, it just happened. It's, so, if I would go move to Finland now, is it going to be a competition, or it's still the same? It's still easy no, no. Make? Now there's plenty of comics, and yeah. now the scene is big, and there's like lots of things going on, and there's comics on TV, and but it, when the first five years at least. When I was doing it, like nobody even really knew what stand up is. It's like, what yeah. is this thing? Is it mm-hmm. like impersonations or mm. is it like sketch comedy? Like, it was like they a new know. thing. Yeah. Like, and Russia also didn't know. Like, it started, I would say, seven years ago, the stand up comedy. Yeah, yeah. They also didn't know what it is. They knew like what sketch comedy is. It was a lot of sketch shows, but no stand up comedy. Yeah. So it's like, so I get it. Wow. You became a pro after 12 gigs. <laughs> I well, hate you. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I'm gonna hate you. I'm gonna make you hate me even more. Okay. I think I got paid from my second. Gig. Oh my god! <laughs> it took me two years to get paid for my comedy gig, and actually, the first time I got paid, I got paid with not money, with a turkey. I won a turkey competition. It was a Thanksgiving, and that was my pay. They gave me frozen a huge turkey. It was like 30 pounds heavy. So yeah. I had to have one friend. My friend had to help me carry it. That was my pay. That's really good. That's how? like that's like like before money was invented. That that's how <laughs> comedy was paid in hunter <laughs> hunter ca- gatherer times. Before. It just <laughs> aged me. Like people go, like, how old is she? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you started comedy 5000 BC before <laughs> yeah. money was invented. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, that's that sounds like, right. So mm-hmm. and then you moved here after how many years of doing comedy? Uh, well, 15, 2015, so I, yeah, I had done comedy like 13 years, I think. 13 years before you moved here? Yeah. Okay. I, I hate you less. No, <laughs> if okay. you would tell me, like, I moved here after two years of doing comedy and I won a competition. No. Okay. Yeah. No, no, that I had done it. But in English, I haven't done it that much at that point because, uh, I did the Edinburgh Fringe Festival a few times in Scotland and, uh. Well, tell me about that one because I want to go there. You kind of can rent their venue and do your shows. Yeah, it's an open festival, so basically anybody can put out put on a show if Mm -hmm. you just convince the venue that you're good enough that they they want to have you. (laughs) But then and you have to just like uh, pay some money to get to the program. Mm -hmm. It's like a phone book. There's like three thousand shows every night for a month. It's crazy. But does it worth it? Like when you did it, what what did you get out of it? Um, Well. I lost so much money doing it, so <laughs> prepare, be, be, be prepared for that. Because, yeah. yeah, you have to pay for accommodation and everything. Yeah. And you might make some money, but you might not. So it depends, because uh, it's a huge festival and not everybody is making money. So, it's, it's, so it's, but why you do it if you don't make money? Just, um, well, it's kind of a boot camp for comedy. Mm-hmm. You just do your yeah. show every night for a month at yeah. the same venue at the same time. Mm-hmm. And also you can hopefully get to do lots of spots in like lots of these compilation Com- mm-hmm showcase shows there and and uh, and you meet lots of people all the UK scene and like they, I don't know if the Fringe Festival has that thing anymore but it used to be because it's an old festival mm-hmm. it started in the 70s I think it's one of the oldest right yeah it was before GFL because they always like say that Monty Python was discovered at mm. the Edinburgh Fringe and and Eddie Izzard and like yeah. lots of like big things from the UK started there and okay. like so because it's Oh, not only stand up. There's like mm. plays, and there's like sketch comedy, and mimes, and movies, and there's like a combination of festivals. Okay, and so it's more like a prestige thing. Like, say, oh, I was at Fringe. Yeah, it, at least it used to be like, like I guess, like mm. JFL also JFL, like yeah. was had the reputation that if you do well there, you get a sitcom like the mm-hmm. next day or whatever. But like Edinburgh was like kind of like, but like in in the UK, the scene in the UK is a little different than here. Like in the UK. Like, 
people there's the, the fringe that's the biggest festival but they have similar festivals all over the country mm-hmm. and also in australia i'm going right. to melbourne now for a similar festival like yeah a that's month amazing long. i know melbourne yeah festival. the melbourne festival is also a month long mm-hmm. and i'll be there for three weeks in april so um uh so the thing is that you do your own hour and then like there's no openers and it's kind of the it's kind of like a almost like a play or a monologue it often mm. has a theme the show and they always have a new show every year and uh but in america you just work on your set for years and then at some point you hope to get a special or something exactly but, but in there they basically have to write a new hour every year they want to go to the festival because you wow. can't do the same hour because and then you have a name for the show it has like a title it's not only you doing stand up yeah. it's just a title it's it's a little and then they have the reviewers like there's all these magazines and websites that review i give you like one star if you're shit <laughs> and five star and then they all the posters are full of stars from different how many magazines. stars you got i the first time i ever did it i got four star review uh, from one place and i've got a couple of those there so have you ever got like two stars two stars no i don't no, no it was always four and five what is the max five stars <laughs> yeah five stars the max i've never got that but i haven't done it that many times i did it like a few times but then also it was like i don't know once i just did it for like a few days and so but, uh, but so yeah. basically each comic in uh, uk is they do like a one man one woman show well yeah if you like you you mm. don't have to do it but like They always go like you have to do it and you have to do the festival and then if you do well in the festival if you get big reviews and there's all these awards you can win at the festival and all that stuff then the UK scene then the agents and whatever they can like oh that must be good and like that's kind of a way to break into the scene there I think yeah. but I don't really know how the scene works I've never lived there I've mm-hmm. just done that festival a few times and I never really got that much out of it I I got the experience and some contacts mm-hmm. and stuff but I didn't like I've never like done stuff in the UK much But that's changing now, but not because of that festival, mm. because of my Instagram and YouTube. Because now I'm, I think I'm starting to sell some tickets in the UK. Because I'm, I'm going to tour there actually in June. So, nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing London and a couple of other cities. And, so and are you are you working on your special? Are you planning to release a special? Yeah, well, every comic is always planning. <laughs> I know, but what's your goal? What's your goal? But yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm. We are definitely planning to shoot a special this year. But I don't know about the schedules yet and stuff. We're planning to do it this year. How are you going to do it? Are you going to first find a company to produce it for you? Or are you just going to shoot it? Well, I have a producer and like like a team who is willing to do it. So nice. Now we just have to work on which uh, platform it comes out. And uh, What's your so. dream and which platform do you want to be? Well, I guess Netflix is uh, that's the best for comedy, maybe. Mm. But mm-hmm. like, but they put out so many specials that you never know if it's going to be just on the front page for like, an hour and then it disappears forever and so. then you have to google you not google but type your name yeah, yeah. so uh, if i do that i have to really promote it a lot or something to so it, it would stay up there for like easily found well i have a question for you because your instagram doing well and you sell out shows guys isma is one of the comics he's never in los angeles like he's constantly on the road constantly like for me to catch you it's like mission impossible it's like Isma, can we miss this week oh no i'm in alaska oh then i'm going to australia then i'm in chicago i'm like damn mm. and you don't have a special yet so technically speaking people don't see your netflix i never saw your netflix maybe netflix is a joke right this is the only thing they so yeah like i haven't done anything on netflix i did like some like podcast for netflix and somewhere but like right. yeah no no I'm so not how do you sell out all those shows if you haven't been on hbo or netflix What's the trick? I think it's social media and like YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and Facebook and that stuff. I think those some of those videos are pretty viral. So yeah. I think that's the, and I did Conan and James Corden so those helped and those videos especially the Conan one got mm-hmm. tons of views. So I think it's all that and also like word of mouth word like of people mouth. have seen to yeah. I've, I've been to Chicago before and then when I go again they tell There's their friends shop. like yeah. is I think it's, it's grassroots plus Social media. It's social media. That's <laughs> social incredible. Social media roots. Mm. Do you run your social media? Or you have somebody who posts for you. Uh, yes and no. I have a company who uh, who cuts the videos for me and and posts them kind of regularly. The mm-hmm. New videos there and uh, but I do like lots of posts myself. Like if I just happen to happen. see something, I like I post myself. But then also I have somebody who puts those videos in. Okay. Like I I don't have a pa- I don't have patience to or time even to so if edit and. Do videos. So if one of your fans is gonna DM you on Instagram, are you gonna see it or somebody else who runs your social media gonna see it? 
if it's a lovely girl, I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's a, oh, if it's an old fat man, <laughs> nobody will see it. <laughs> nobody will see it. Delete. No, but, no. But like I, I, I try to look at the message. Sometimes there's so many that I can't keep in tra- keep yeah. track. But like, yeah, I, I, I see my messages. If but like I so. But if you are asking me to do a gig, don't Instagram me. Just ask my agent or manager Man. from the website. So that's okay. the. Like, there's a false bookers miss, out there. Yeah, if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah. So I, I miss a lot because there's so many messages sometimes coming through that I, I miss them. But, um, but yeah. And I'm, who's I'm your manager? Who's your manager? I know you're very happy with your manager. Who is it? Uh, it's uh, Arson House. That's mm-hmm. the company. Arson yeah. House. Joe Melash is the main guy there, and uh, yeah, they're um, they're great. They are so good. They're, I'm so happy with them. And uh, incredible. Yeah. So what's your goal uh, in 10 years? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, mm. Mm. Still oh, eating shit. salt, drinking mm. coffee. Oh, I, I was so thinking of 10 years that I spilled coffee <laughs> on my... <laughs> Tough uh, question. Everywhere. Uh. <laughs> okay, five years. Let's okay, pressure. Five, five years. years that's five e- years. That's easier. 10 years. I don't know. 10 years. That's a long time. Okay, five But, years. Well, I- any amount of years. I think I'll never stop doing stand-up. Like mm-hmm. I will I'll always want to do stand up in English and in Finnish also. I, I go to Finland every year at least once or twice, and uh, um, but I am definitely looking into doing some other stuff like writing and acting also like in movies and stuff like that. So what's but, your dream role? What's your dream role? Well, it's not just one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see your top three top three dream roles. Well, I think it's just about the movie being good. Like, and like my no, dream, I just but what is the character you want to play? Well, I I think more important than that would be that the movie is great. Like, and I want to come up with the movie. Like, I'm really I want to. Oh, you want to you want to act in your own movie? Yeah, like I want to, like I want to also write it. Like, I don't have to write it all by myself. I don't think I even could do that. I don't have the patience to write a whole movie. But like, I want to like I love to write and come up with a great story and a great funny things and. I don't really care what I'm doing it there. So, yeah. but I think something that's close to myself, like somebody who observes stuff and says funny things. But funny it thing. can be a weird kind. Of, like I'd love to try to play some really silly, like murderers or freaking weird. Like I don't crazy. Know. Like I can see you be some like funny and creepy at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> like a murderer. Yeah. Thank you. I'm like <laughs> 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 kind of like you know this uh, Netflix series you. About stalker. Oh, I I saw a couple of episodes. Of that, yeah, like but if you can be like, if we turn it into sitcom, you know, and it will be like funny stalker. Yeah. Yeah, I can see you doing. It. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, yeah, there's lots of things that would be fun to do, and uh, yeah, I don't really know because, like, I haven't done that much acting. Like, I played myself in this TV show in Finland, mm-hmm. uh, and it was like scripted. It was acting, but it, I still kind of played myself. Yeah. What's and the name of that show? <laughs> His name was Isma. Isma. <laughs> so Damn, he got a show named name. after him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, but, uh, so, you... but yeah, I think, uh, but like I'm mostly interested in like writing a movie and acting in it rather than trying to be cast in other movie people's. or series. Serious. 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 Yeah. Serious. <laughs> serious yeah. Very serious. 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 Um, well, why not both? Uh, yeah. I think now I'm really into thinking of movies but but yeah series of course would be nice if it's if it's fun to do then if it's not fun to do and you have to do 10 seasons it's horrible <laughs> and yeah. you have to wake up so early that's the only thing i don't like about Be filming yeah, you have yeah. To like six the, the reason i do comedy is that like nothing before noon ever except flights sometimes. yeah i'm like call isma call me in the morning and he calls me at 3 p.m I'm like, yeah. this is not morning. <laughs> this is almost evening. Yeah, I just, well, I'm just making some bacon for breakfast. Yeah, I'm like, good morning. It's 3 p.m. <laughs> But um, yeah. what, are, what, are, uh, what is it I want to ask you? But, like, us comics who are not on the road, like, I go on the road, but not as much as you are, right? But, like, we hang out more. Like, I feel like there is a community. And then I look at you being constantly on the road, and I feel lonely for you. I'm like, damn, this guy is on his own in Alaska. Then yeah. he's flying to Chicago, and, like, Because once we, you do the scenes in LA or like New York, like we have the crew, right? We like all hang out, we socialize, we like, yeah. it's just not as lonely. As, and I'm like, yeah, we're all dreaming of being on the road. We're all dreaming of making it. But once you make it, it's like, fuck, it's That's, just you. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, making it is lonely. So be prepared, be prepared for that. <laughs> like it's, and yeah, like sometimes of course comics bring their own openers like some people yeah, that want to hang out but yeah. i normally don't bring anybody i just like whatever the clubs book 
you like maybe, to be alone? Maybe, maybe this or next year I'm starting to bring somebody. I don't know yet. But um, but then sometimes the local comics that open or, or the producers or the club staff, we hang out and it's fun. But sometimes I'm just by myself and I don't mind that either. Like I, I like don't? being alone. I, I, I like just sleeping late and waking up and like writing something or playing some games or whatever. It's just like relaxing. It's it's fine. Like I don't. I'm not like I'm. I'm not afraid of being alone. Like, like you do. I'm, you don't get depressed. No, no. I'm. I'm. Um. I'm. I'm actually good with being alone. But like the only thing I would love to have more is um, is uh. <sighs> Touched, getting touched by beautiful women. That's Get a massage, that's, Isma. Uh, oh, that's a good, that's a good loophole. Yeah. <laughs> so, you just book a massage session and the hotel you go. Yeah, that's uh, that's, that's uh, a solution. It doesn't, feel, it doesn't feel the same. It's cheaper than getting a woman or a hooker or a girlfriend. Mm, well, depends. Like in Finland, you split the bill, so in Finland it's fine. But uh, not uh, go to Finland. Yeah. If you want a beautiful woman in this country, you will have to pay for her. Yeah, that sucks ass. <laughs> sucks ass. <laughs> no. But I'm okay. I'm prepared to do it. I can pay for your sushi. That's necessarily to get. You can pay for my shoes. Sushi. 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 Sushi, <laughs> sushi um, and shoes. Well, <laughs> in LA you have to do more for women, for women. Or you have to find like very independent woman. Would you bring a wife? Like, would you marry a girl from Finland and bring her here? I don't think I want to marry anybody, but I had <laughs> I married a girl from Finland and yeah. I brought her here. <laughs> like we, like okay. we married, like we were together thirteen years and we moved like, well, seven years ago we moved here and and we broke up a year and a half ago. And you shipped her back to Finland. Well, yeah, I put her in the <laughs> cargo. Yeah, yeah like child. stamp in her ass. <laughs> no, uh, she moved back to Finland um, like six months ago, um, but. Um, but yeah, we are still really good friends, and we 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 just wrote a book together, and I've been recording the audio version of that book just today and tomorrow. You're writing a book with your ex-wife. Yes, but we already wrote it. You already wrote it. Did yeah. You, how did it happen? Like, did you Zoom? Did you Skype? Or you just write on your own and try? Well, to we your... kind of wrote on our own because we both did our own chapter. So we wrote we wrote one book together when we were still married two years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, and that we wrote like kind of to, more together. We were living in the mm -hmm. same house, of course, and and stuff uh, but now we have of course not been living together anymore and now we also did our like own chapters like it's her chapter my chapter her chapter my the first book we did kind of in one voice but um now it's two voices now it's two voices and uh, have yeah. you read her chapters uh not all of them yet. <laughs> really not, curious not all of them, like actually. East mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah then, like East i know <laughs> like i made sure that she told me everything up, that she wrote about me but i haven't read all of them yet so I'm actually I'm planning to read them before the book comes out. Yeah, you should, you should because. <laughs> but I've read like most of them, I would say. But like, and some she mostly told me what she's gonna write about. But uh, and is it mean? No, like no. we're not arguing the book. Like no, the book is like we're on the same side of like we both wanted to get a divorce and we both realized that we are not compatible together and and after we still want to work years, together. After how many years? After how many years you realized like we are not compatible? Well, we were together thirteen years and uh, the. Last at least last couple of years, we were kind of thinking that like maybe we should get a divorce, but like man, maybe not. I don't know. We were kind of like we were really open. We always yeah. were talking about everything openly, yeah. and then we were thinking a bit like, and then we were like, oh, we can make this work because we loved so much working together and hanging yeah. out. But it wasn't that romantic in the last years anymore. So it was like, is this even a, like a is this like a romantic relationship anymore? Is it just like being like work pals and yeah. friends? So, but we are still. Friends and work pals, so it works out great. So um, yeah, no nasty divorces like American style. And that's <laughs> so. incredible story. How to well, you probably should do like a book how to get divorced without fighting. Well, well it's about oh that's well, a book. That book oh, is that's called, a book. Okay. The book is called the Dream Divorce. It's a Dream Divorce, <laughs> but it's in Finnish actually. It's, we're gonna translate it soon, hopefully this year. Yeah, I want to read it in English. But, I want to. I don't care about your part. I want to read her part. <laughs> no, okay, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> you are not allowed to read only uh, one part. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I'm just reading her part. Her part of the story. Okay, so no more Finnish women. No, no, I'm not saying no more Finnish women. I'm just no more marriages, I would no say. No more marriages. Okay. Yeah, why would I get married? That makes no sense. It's just silly. So what do you want from a, from a woman besides being touched? Mm, well, <laughs> being touched with different body parts. <laughs> in different body parts. And Well, okay. Lots of sex. Lots of sex. Lots of blowjob. Lots, lots. lots. And, but uh, also, um, <laughs> great conversation. 
funny like she has to she has to make me laugh definitely like she has to make me laugh like give like, you blowjobs make you laugh yeah that's hard to find Ismo. well not at the same time <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna crap out you. Oh my god, by blowing you. Yeah, it's like, oh, I wanna knock, knock, knock. <laughs> this is your dream woman. <laughs> Do you have a type? I don't know. I no, I wouldn't say I have a type. I'm open to experimenting different types. Like different types. I don't have a type. I wouldn't say like like some people have like hair color. Like yeah, I like blondes, brunettes. Yeah, I don't like like I don't care at all about the hair color. Like it's like I don't even see it. Like it's what do you see when you look at a woman? Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Brutally no, the soul. honest. I mean soul. I mean soul. Soul, of course. You don't <laughs> see a soul. You just see boobs. Yeah, but the boobs are in front of the heart. I see the heart, but the boobs are in but front of But if you it. like a girl, you can buy her boobs. Yeah. Oh, well, you don't do it. You, you split the bill. We have, I, split, I, I pay for yeah, the you left buy, one. You buy one boob. <laughs> <laughs> like, I get the left one. You get the right one. <laughs> like, I'm ready to make an investment. <laughs> <laughs> left boob. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be a funny joke. Oh, we split the bill with the boob jobs. <laughs> Actually, I know one person who did it. He's Jewish and he was dating a woman and he told she wanted to do, get boobs done. And he's like, well, I don't have that much money now. I can pay for one boob. And he literally gave her money for one boob. <laughs> That's good. Are you sure you're not Jewish? <laughs> <laughs> Are there Jewish people in Finland? There's one. No, there's two. <laughs> cool. One is a politician and one is a, like a radio guy. <laughs> Those are the two I know. And so oh, and that's the third one I know. Actually, he, he's a guitar player. But I'm sure there's more. But there those are, are the ones I know. You might, okay, when you decided to do comedy? Like, when was the like, thing, what happened in your life that you're like, I'm going to be a stand-up comedian? Mm, the first time I ever saw stand-up, I was like, I'm going to try that. I want to. Who, I who was it? Who did you see? Do you remember? Um, well, of course, I saw it on TV, like Seinfeld. When watch, mm -hmm. Seinfeld was in Finland. That was yeah. so popular, and I loved it. So you can see like 30 minutes of 30 seconds of stand up at the mm -hmm. end. But, but uh, I saw it live in Finland. Some of the Finnish guys in my town started it. And I was like, these guys are awesome. These are like gods. They make people laugh. And it's like, I want to try that. So, because I, there, there was no YouTube then. And there yeah. was like, it was hard to find. It wasn't really on TV there. So it was hard to find it. So, how uh, old were you? I, when, I, when I did my first um, gig, I was 23. I think. 23. You were in college? University, I guess. That university, the same as college? Yeah. <laughs> kind of. And what did you study in university? Physics. That oh, was my main, yeah, like, my physics. major. Physics. Oh my gosh, yeah, that would be such a good character. Crazy. How cool. Not physician. What, how was the name of the person who does physics? Uh, yeah, it's not physician. Uh, not physician. <laughs> physician is a medical. It's a physicist, maybe. Physicist. Crazy physicist. Phys I can see you sitting in a lab with your hair, like, all crazy messed up. Yeah. And working on something. So looking like exactly like I Yeah, eating now. salt, eating salt. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, I'm going to invent a new dolphin. Yeah. With yeah, arms. That, yeah, that would be a, a crazy mad scientist. That's, uh, that's a good character. I'd love to play that. And um, I studied chemistry and biology and math and astronomy. And like I studied lots of like those kind of things. Philosophy, logic. Logic. Uh, I love logic. You love logic? You don't... It seems more philosophical than logical to me. Yeah, well, logic is a part of philosophy. Philosophy, or I think, officially. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'm, yeah, I'm both. But I definitely love logic and numbers and like scientific thinking. But also, I like silliness and jokes. And there's, I have lots of jokes about like, like that would be kind of scientific things, like about space and time and numbers and whatever. So I, I kind of. I sometimes see like, hey, this this joke is almost science, <laughs> but, oh. but I still like I I I love silliness and such silly jokes. Yeah, so you did. I think it was uh, Instagram you posted about. Oh, why is this doctor is like, what is this throat elbow? No, throat. Oh yeah, they're doctor. Throat and ear, and ear. Throat. Yeah, because in Russian we have the same thing. You're like, why don't we create elbow a butthole and something else? <laughs> <laughs> elbow and asshole. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, that's I was funny like, bit. I would do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ear, nose, and throat. It's like three random things. Three random things. Yeah, like yeah. why would you choose? But they all connected. Yeah. Kind yeah. of. Yeah, I guess kind of a little bit. Yeah, there's a, there's a hole inside your head going from the ear to the nose, I think. Because mm. you can do this at the airport. Like, yeah. Blow. 
okay, if comedy would not exist, let's say Zagato Universal Isma, you cannot do comedy anymore. Like let's say stand up comedy vanished from Planners. What would you do in life? I would be a singer songwriter. Singer songwriter. Mm. So you can sing and you can play? Yeah, and write songs. You Maybe. write songs? <laughs> like, what? I think I, love, I I actually wanted to be a musician before a comedian. I was mm -hmm. always, like, I learned to play, play guitar when I was, like, I don't know, 13 or something. And I I really love, I still love that. And uh, I'm not, like, the best guitar player, but that's, like, I'm a campfire guitar player. Cool. And, and, um, Sounds romantic. And uh, I, I'm also taking some singing lessons. I haven't taken... Like I stopped taking them when I started to write the book because it was so time consuming. But now I have to get get back on them. I think I can sing. Okay, we can go do karaoke. Karaoke. That's my fear. Like I'm afraid. The only thing I would never do is karaoke. I can dance. I would even stream. I don't thing, care. But I would not sing. The only thing I can come up with ten things that I'm sure you wouldn't do. But okay. <laughs> tell, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> tell Swim, me. Swimming with dolphins. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. But no, I would even probably. If choosing between karaoke and swimming with dolphins, I would probably still would swim with the dolphins rather than do the karaoke. Okay, yeah. But like, oh, I think the swimming with dolphins problem is that the, the ladies are kind of asking for it because they're in bikinis. They should like wear like a proper... Are you blaming <laughs> women for being raped? This is a, like a white man no, privileged but it's, behavior. It's bikinis. Like you should go swim in like... Um, in what? Like... Um, like a long john's underpants and correct and what are you swimming on what are you wearing when you're swimming well i don't wear bikinis you can get raped too there are some homophobic dolphins i'm sure out there homophobic or, yeah or unphobic <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. be careful but it's a oh you know, it's not the bikinis carrier's fault it is the dolphin's fault so yes it's the dolphin's <laughs> fault yeah <laughs> but it's just if you're doing it just wear something non-sexy no i'm gonna wear like the surf uh, surfing costume yeah with no holes in it <laughs> like, <laughs> but then you look more like a dolphin <laughs> i do yeah <laughs> that's true it's true but it's, i feel like more protected yeah that's good so mm -hmm. but yeah singing singing would be nice i love to i love to do that and also write songs like i'm i'm i want to create something if i couldn't create comedy i would love to do some well, sure. I guess I would keep writing more books because I've written two halves of a book. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, <laughs> so I have a, I'm, I'm not going to stop that. And uh, also, I could maybe write scripts and maybe be like a, like a columnist or like I want to create mm -hmm. something. Create so, something. So it's all writing, performing, writing. Yeah. And uh, maybe uh, what else could I create? Maybe drawing. I sometimes like to draw silly pictures. Like, like I haven't what? done that in years. But can you draw me? Oh my god, it would be horrible. I could draw a silly version of you. I'm okay. sure, but unrecognizable. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be like this is how Ismo sees Anya. Yeah. I want to see that. Okay, it's I gonna will, be very. I will draw you, but I will need you topless. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a big boobs. I'm like size B slash C, so nothing. I'm not gonna impress. So one is B and one is C. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I'm gonna. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kick you. No, it depends. Women will before our periods, our boobs get bigger. After our periods, our boobs shrink. Well, you've been married before, I'm sure you noticed. Know yeah, like it happens to me also. Sometimes my <laughs> boob, boobs get bigger and they get. But no, that happens to Dick. It sometimes gets bigger. And, uh, well, yeah. yeah, we know that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know with you. I just know men in general. Mm -hmm. yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's switch the topic. It's getting weird. <laughs> Isma, you need a girlfriend. All you want to talk about boobs. Well, I like other parts than boobs. I like souls. And souls. Brains. And, um, it's hard to find in LA. You want a boobs and a brain? It's You have to go to, I don't know, Texas? <laughs> <laughs> or somewhere north from here. You're not going to find mm -hmm. it in LA. Really hard. I don't know. Well, Do you have women hitting on you after the shows? Not really. <laughs> or they might be, but I'm so bad at like uh, social cues. I never like it because it's so the flirting here is so subtle. Like I don't get it. You know, <laughs> so you maybe a woman flirts with you, but there might be women flirting me right this moment in this room <laughs> as we speak. Trust and me, I, I would <laughs> tell you if I would flirt with you. I'll be very straight. I'm horrible at flirting. I never flirt. Yeah. Yeah. If and if I like the guy, I get really shy. So. Yeah. But. uh how women flirt in Finland? Well, 
they get raped, wa- they, they get drunk and wasted, and then they just fucking grab your dick. Like, not, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, that, that's that's nice. women, if But, you yeah. want to get easeful, <laughs> that's all you need to do. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, in Finland, it's just people get wasted, and that's how we have sex in Finland. You just get drunk and hope that something happens. <laughs> What if nothing happens? <laughs> <laughs> I can see so laughing. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we don't really go to dates. Like, I guess some people do, but it's mostly just like getting drunk and see what happens and hope it. Happens. So you hook up with a girl, and then if you wake up and she still looks okay, then you might see her again. And yeah, then we might go like, let's have a pizza because it's hungover, and let's then then that's the date. That's <laughs> because, it. But we already <laughs> fucked. <laughs> I never go to Finland. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> and and the girl pays for the pizza. Mm, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, she might like. Uh, I w- I could pay, but then she might be like, no, no, let me take it. Like it's not. It's not like a. It's not like. Yeah, it's like it, 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 it depends on like some women in Finland are also like they. It's like an honor for them that no, I have money. I'm gonna take care of myself. I don't, I'm not like a trophy, uh, helpless woman. I'm a strong, independent. Because uh, in Finland we have a uh, prime minister is a woman now and the president. Was la- la- the yeah. president before this president was a woman, and it's like it's very equal. So mm-hmm. it's like we don't have to do the chivalry. Yeah, thing. I mean, uh, most of the women in the United States also can pay for themselves. It's just a matter of like, oh, it's you feel like it's a guy's a gentleman, you know? Yeah, it's just different. Yeah, I old care. fashioned. Oh, I'm an old fashioned girl, and then I'm like, okay, so no voting, no voting rights for you, <laughs> no credit cards for you. <laughs> like, how old fashioned? <laughs> just a little bit, just. Just 50 a little years, b- but not 100 years. <laughs> exactly. No, we want a man with the manners. Yeah. Well, I'm speaking for myself. I, but that's good. It's good that Finland is very progressive. Yeah. Man with manners. I was thinking, like, women don't have manners because it's manners. So women have womaners. <laughs> woman, that's a joke right there. <laughs> manners. Is manners from man? Man. Oh, yeah. Actually, there's one comic, female comic. Her name is, uh, what's her name? Nikki. Nikki Fuchs. She has a bit about, like, man, women. Like, she has, like, something like you said. That's really yeah. smart, and she wrote it like in a smart way. It's oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Like womanizer, why it's like wom- woman, ni- like she has a whole bit oh, about yeah. it. Oh yeah, womanizer, manner, manizer, manizer. Yeah, exactly. There's no even word for it. Yeah, well, there's a that's slut. <laughs> slut. You see, when a guy hooks up with many women, it's kind of like But normal. That, yeah, that's old-fashioned thinking, though. In Finland, we don't do slut shaming. You don't? We like sluts. We you like sluts? We appreciate sluts. We do a slut appreciation month. And when is that? Uh, every month. <laughs> <laughs> so Especially on the weekends. <laughs> weekends, everybody becomes sluts. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I don't I don't get slut shaming. I don't shame sluts. I love sluts. Of course you do. I have no doubts about it. <laughs> It's free sex for you. Yeah. Free <laughs> sex. Well... Yeah, because any, anything else than free sex is prostitution. Did you know that? <laughs> I'm actually, I feel like prostitution should be legalized. Because yeah. it's the hardest job. Do, do you understand what those women have to go through? Yeah. A lot. Yeah. You And don't then think they get so? a ticket on top of that. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's legal in Nevada. Is it? Yeah, except Vegas. Okay, so everywhere but not Vegas. Interesting. Yeah. How do you know, Miss Mom? <laughs> I just heard about it. I heard about it. I heard about I've never tried using a prostitute, but you I'm haven't? going to Australia soon. And it, in Australia, it's like completely legal. It's it is. Yeah, that's brothels. Like it's just like. How do you know that? It's as legal as weed is in LA. Incredible. Are you going to try one or two? I don't know yet. Maybe that'd be the first time. I don't know. Oh my gosh! I wanted to try. Next time you come back, and you're going to tell me about your experience on the podcast. Yeah. Well, depends on the Australian women. If I can be a womanizer, I don't need to. But if not, then maybe, maybe. You know. Maybe you try one or two. Yeah, one or two at a time. Do you go to strip clubs? Not really. I've never really got strip clubs. I didn't like no. in Finland. We have like two, and like it's not a thing there. It's like it's not? Americans are like obsessed with strip clubs. Yeah. I've never really got that. Like it feels like I I don't know. I don't get it. I'd rather watch porn than go to a strip club. <laughs> it's like it's I don't know. It's, it's different. It's, it's Well, it's strip club. It's almost like an art. If it's a class, a strip club, it's beautiful. Yeah, I guess. I guess that. But like, I guess I should give it a chance. Go give it a chance. <laughs> yeah. But Go yeah, I've never really like. It's. I think it's. I. I feel more like awkward because then I got the feeling that she doesn't really want to do this, and she's like, ah, uh, just like, 
Do you think women in porn want to do that? Most of the times they do it. Most of the things they do in porn, they don't want to do it. Yeah, but then they don't see I'm watching them. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. It's thing. awkward. Like, oh, oh, they, they just want to get paid and get home. And like, I don't know. Yeah. But uh, but I'm sure some women in porn enjoy it. I'm, I've, I've seen one that actually came. At least one, I'm sure. You sure? Oh, so. she's the best actress in the whole. Or maybe she's the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who is? Do you remember her name? Let's promote her. <laughs> no, there's like. I, I, I think when you I, know her name. You know her name. What's no, her name? No, I, I, I have no idea. But like, I do like like porn is now most porn is now so mean. Like it's kind of like. That's what vicious. I'm telling you. Yeah. But like, I love porn where you can actually tell, or at least you you think that the woman is really enjoying it. I love that, but like it's rare to find porn like that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, has to be concept. Yeah, conceptual. Well, what do you want to promote? Where are you going to next? You going um, to Chicago next weekend, mm-hmm. or Batavia? It's next. It's like an hour from Chicago. Mm-hmm. That's like nine, ten, eleven of March. I don't know when you're putting mm-hmm. when you're putting out when you're putting this out. Uh, we're trying to put it this week so we can mm-hmm. promote stuff. Is it when you're putting out? It's but like it sounds <laughs> bad. It sounds <laughs> yeah. <laughs> putting out. <laughs> So, what is the correct English? <laughs> yeah, you can say that I'm putting out tonight. You can say that. You can. I'm putting. So, out. I need your help. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> I knew it's a trick. <laughs> I said it by accident the first, but then I was like, I think that's. Yeah, I think I've heard that before. Putting out. Not okay. from me. Not from me. I heard it from so, somebody else. Uh, but yeah, and then after Chicago, I'm back here for a week, and then I'm going to. Well, I'm actually. I'm going to France for this thing. It's like a private thing. And then I'm going to uh, Finland to do one show in Helsinki in English. And then I'm going to Australia for like the whole of April. And where we can see all your schedule? Uh, Ismo.fun. That fun. I-S-M-O, Ismo. That's my first name. And I'm the only Ismo in America doing comedy. So I don't need But other there's names. another Ismo on Instagram. I was trying to show your Instagram to one of my friends and another Ismo popped up. Yeah, like, there is some Ismos in the world. I'm not the only Ismo, but I don't think <laughs> yeah, there's other Ismos doing comedy, oh, that's your... especially in English. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, oh, yeah. Those, oh, yeah. yeah Batavia, Helsinki. Look then... at the schedule. How, there's no way you can have a girlfriend with a schedule. No fucking way. Yeah, I need like 20 different girlfriends, I think. In each city. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what comics do. They get a girl in each city. Yeah, and then that's yeah. That whole summer, I'm in Finland and and UK also, uh, in like June and July. And oh, uh, you you doing? Why is it? Oh, fi- I saw this Florida. It's F- yeah, no, F- I'm like, <laughs> it's, I think they put that FL meaning like Finnish language because those shows are in Finnish. We have to uh, maybe FL is not the best yeah. way to put it. We should put like F yeah. Finn or something Sandy. to to mark that they are Finnish because I do some English shows in Finland, so I wanna not have people come to the wrong language show. Yeah. So um, sounds but, good. Um, yeah, so that's good. And social media is Ismo Comedy, I S M O Comedy. Comedy. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Yeah, follow YouTube. him there. Uh, DM him your nudes, big boobs. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> that's a recipe how to get Ismo's attention. Yeah. And bring him soul. And also, like, if, if somebody wants to pick me up, I'm open to it, but don't do it like try to message saying hello because that's going to be a bot who's doing that probably like, you yeah you like w- oh i met you there and there and let's go for a coffee that's nice I'll, that's I'll nice you want straight straightforward yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah and if you flirt he likes hardcore flirting yeah it's yeah like, i don't want room for question i don't want to misinterpret it for like some if somebody's just being nice so some people are just nice, nice and then yeah. you interpret that's flirting and then that's a that's a bad mistake for me. <laughs> How many mistakes you made like that one? Not much, because I'm reserved in that. I don't want to make those, so I'm... Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah don't make those mistakes. Okay, women, Ismo is available. <laughs> for, <laughs> for bookings and birthday parties. For and, parties, private and, um, parties. And if somebody needs dick. Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's true. Okay, thank you so much for listening. I want to have Ismo back when you one of those days when you're back yeah. in town. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you can share with us more of your yes. road trips. Thank of you. course, I'd love to. Thank you, Anya. Thank you for being bye here. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye. 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 Cheers. Where's your water? <laughs> 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 We're done.